Hey guys, so today was CPI day. Um, we actually had a pretty interesting day. Um, a lot of volatility, some really nice movement, uh, about a $7 move on SPY and the Qs. Um, overall, we did get a little bit better of a CPI reading than we expected. That core came in a little bit lower than expected. Uh, other thing else came in pretty much in line. Um, taking a look at SPY here. So we did not put a new demand in. Um, the most important thing I'm seeing here is that we are continuing to reject our 448.8 supply and our EMAs. Uh, we do have an official bearish cross under. Um, realistically, my target remains 441.6, which is the 50 EMA. Um, other than that, I mean, honestly, we're just kind of in a bear, a, a slow bear trend right now. There's not a really a lot of upside movement I'm seeing. Um, most of the movement I see is bearishly, and I pretty much expect neutral to bearishness. Um, realistically, until we retake and close over the 8 and 20 EMA, I remain bearish. Um, but my, my ultimate target is going to be 443.13 supply, and then eventually the 50 EMA. Going over to futures here, same thing. We are in a really nice bear trend here. Same thing we did not get a new demand we were close this morning uh, until we had that nice end of day or the move down and then the final middle or towards the end of the day there where we re-lost everything um, prior to that we were going to get a new demand so on futures here you can see we got the super long whip off the upside uh, we're rejecting the ema still we still have a bearish cross under and now we're actually going to try to make this 4497 demand which should be support into resistance same thing here i'm still targeting the 50 ema and a potential next downside target would be 4436 which is our, our next demand down on the queues here same thing we are in our, our bear trend we did have a bearish crossover earlier in the week. We are close to our 50 EMA, but we really haven't officially touched it. Uh, same thing though with a nice wick off of those EMAs. And we're actually starting to get quite a bit of a split here on uh, the EMAs. I'm still looking for that downside move. So realistically 372, which was, as you saw, a major resistance back here. Uh, and then we turned it into support for the, earlier this week and early last week or late last week. Now that is resistance. So realistically, until we retake 372, I'm looking for further downside. My downside target on the Qs is 365.9. When we go over to the VIX here, so you can see we did lose our short-term upside channel. But what I think is interesting about this is that we are still holding the AEMA support. And we have three dojis in a row here on, on um, the VIX. This actually could turn into a nice bull flag and a nice move up. But we'll need to see the VIX move up tomorrow. So obviously you can see we had a wick to the upside and a wick to the downside. It was interesting to watch that the VIX regained everything that it had pretty much given up once CPI released. So for the most part, like I said, I, I'm bearish, shorter term still. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see like a relief bounce. We are starting to enter on cues we did, but on SPY and futures, we're starting to enter extreme bear momentum. We haven't been in that since March. So it is going to be interesting and being in extreme bear momentum, the markets can do some pretty interesting stuff. So I am personally looking for some continuation to the downside. All right, guys, uh, I will be gone tomorrow and Monday, so I will not have anything up until uh, Tuesday night for you guys.